Good afternoon, boys and girls from Pilgrim and other people listening in. Today we're going to read a story in the Harry series, Harry the dog, the black and white dog. Everyone's famous, the most famous one is Harry the dirty dog, written by Jean Zion, illustrated by Margaret Bloy Graham. It says pictures by, another way of saying illustrations. This is the original one called Harry the dirty dog. It was originally published in 1956 by Jean Zion. Then we have Harry and the Lady Next Door. This is one of the lesser known ones. I have this one in my collection too. The one I couldn't find in my collection, I thought I had it, was called No Roses for Harry, which is about the sweater that comes unraveled. And then I'm going to read one today called Harry by the Sea, because it's a beautiful day in Southern California and it was a beautiful day at the weekend and we can't go to the beach at the moment so I thought I'd read a story about the beach and then at the end I'll give you some titles of other books that have beaches in them that you might like to check out somehow that we have in the library back at school or you might get them on ebooks or another source. Okay so here's Harry by the Sea. This is one of my favourites. I'm wearing a sun hat because I'm reading a story about going to the beach. I put sunscreen on today before I went on my walk because it's very hot. So Harry by the Sea by Jean Zion. This one's a pretty old book as you can see. Old and well loved. Belonged to my husband and his brother when they were little. And it's from, there's our title page. Actually, that wasn't the title page, that's a prequel to the title page. Here is the title page. It's published by Harper and Row Publishers in 1965. And here is our title page with the people all getting ready to go to the beach. They've got their beach umbrella, they've got a picnic, they're wearing hats, they've got shovels, and Harry is trotting along behind. Here we go, Harry by the Sea. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything about the seashore except the hot sun. One day when the sun was hotter than ever, Harry looked for a shady place to sit. But when he tried to get under the family's beach umbrella, It was too crowded and the family made him leave. When he crawled into the children's sand castle, the walls fell in and the children chased him away when he walked in the shade that a fat lady made. So remember, we try not to call people fat anymore. Remember, that's a 1965 term that we probably wouldn't use now. We might say a plump lady or a big lady, but we don't call people fat. She became angry and made him stop following her. Get lost, she said. She was very annoyed. The sun was very hot and Harry had walked a long way from the main beach. He was tired, so he sat down at the water's edge. All of a sudden, a big wave came from behind and crashed right on top of him. Yes, boys and girls, we never turn off. We never turn our backs on the water, right? Because sometimes a rogue wave can come and catch us by surprise. When the wave rolled back, Harry was left floating in the water. He was completely covered with seaweed. He didn't look like a dog anymore. He looked like something from the bottom of the sea. Suddenly, a lady saw him floating toward her. Help! Help! She shrieked. It's a sea monster! The lifeguard heard her and blew his whistle. Everybody out! Everybody out! He shouted. Yeah. 
everyone ran out of the water, and so did Harry. He was still covered with cold, wet seaweed. It made him feel cool and comfortable, and now he didn't mind the sun at all. He felt so good, he started running back to his family. On his way, some people saw him. It's a sea serpent, one of them screamed. It's a giant sandworm, shrieked another. Harry had water in his ears and could hardly hear them. He kept on running toward the main beach. When he got there, Harry stopped and stared. Instead of just his family's umbrella, now there were hundreds of them. They were all striped, just like his family's. Harry couldn't tell one umbrella from another. Suddenly, two beach attendants saw him. Holy smoke, one of them gasped. What's that? It's a bushy backed sea slug, exclaimed the other. They whispered for a moment. Then they ran. Look carefully behind the man with the stick, what the seagull is trying to do in this illustration. Can you see? Seagull is trying to sneak whatever it is he had on his, the food he had on his stick that they were cleaning up the beach. You can see from all those same umbrellas how Harry wouldn't be able to find his person, just, to, just like you wouldn't be able to if you went down to the beach and came back. Harry went from umbrella to umbrella, but he couldn't find his family. Everyone wore sun hats and sunglasses and everyone used suntan oil just like his family. Harry looked and sniffed very hard, but it was no use. He couldn't tell one family from another. Suddenly, the two beach attendants came running back, carrying a big trash basket. They ran toward Harry. Stand back, one of them said to the crowd. We're going to catch it and take it to the aquarium, said the other. Then they tiptoed right up behind Harry, and raised the trash basket over his head. Harry didn't know the beach attendants were behind him. He was listening to something. He thought he heard someone calling his name. There it was again. Harry! 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 Now Harry was sure. He didn't wait another second. Just as the basket came down... He ran. He ran right out from under the basket. It happened so fast, the beach attendants just stood there with their mouths open. As he raced through the crowd, some people screamed, some people ran, and some people did both. But Harry paid no attention. He kept on running across the beach. When he got to the hot dog stand, he stopped and barked happily. Behind the counter, the hot dog man was shouting. It was his voice that Harry had heard. But Harry had water in his ears and couldn't hear very well. The man wasn't shouting, Harry, Harry, Harry. He was shouting, hurry, hurry, hurry. Get them while they're hot. Harry still thought the man was calling his name. He barked and jumped with joy. He jumped so much that suddenly, there's the hot dog man. You can see what he's got for sale. You read those words that you, things that you'd like to eat when you're at the beach. Are you noticing something about the way the sun is drawn? It's the same in every illustration. So he jumped so much that suddenly the seaweed all fell off. When the crowd saw that Harry was a dog, they gasped. They could hardly believe their eyes. All at once, Harry began to jump higher than ever. 
He saw the children. They were running toward him. Oh, Harry, they cried. We heard you bark. We've been looking all over for you. Harry was so happy, he did a little dance. The hot dog man was very grateful to Harry for bringing the crowd to his stand. He sold all the hot dogs he had. He gave Harry a free hamburger. The lady who told Harry to get lost came along and bought him a cold drink. You're no sea monster, she said. You're just a lost hot dog. Everyone laughed except the two children. He's not lost, one of them said. He's Harry and he's ours. Then they hurried off to join the rest of the family. The next time Harry's family went to the beach, they bought a new umbrella. Harry liked this one very much. It was white with black spots. No matter, no matter how crowded the beach became, it was easy to find. But best of all, it was big. And when the sun got very hot, there was room underneath for them all. That's a funny story, isn't it? And here's the back where the seagull, seagull and Harry are getting to know each other. All right, so some other books about beaches I'll read you. I wrote a little list, some of my favourites. Duck and Goose Go to the Beach by Tad Hills. Scaredy Squirrel at the Beach by Melanie Watt. Flotsam by David Wiesner. That's a wordless picture book to make up your own story. There Might Be Lobsters by Carolyn Crimmie. Larry Gets Lost Under the Sea by John Skews. That's also has some non-fiction nice facts in it about oceans. When a Dragon Moves In by Jodie Moore. Surfs Up, a Geronimo Stilton story. Surfs Up by Kwame Alexander. And those might be some that you could check out if you want to read more books about, about the beach since we're not able to go to the beach at the moment. But we can look forward to getting to the beach just hopefully very soon so here we go goodbye to harry the dirt harry by the sea by the same people who wrote who brought us harry the dirty dog all right clicking off now hope you're having a lovely day